Hi, I'm Andre and I'm a black nerd. As many of you know, every year I like to go to San Diego Comic-Con, host panels, I got to host panels this year for Audible, for Stan Lee's Alliances, I got to host a panel for Power Rangers. But you know what happens when I go to San Diego Comic-Con. I get stuff. Some stuff I buy, some stuff I'm given as a gift, but all of it ends up in bags and boxes that come home with me. And now I'm gonna show you all those things I got. It's my San Diego Comic-Con 2019 haul. Gotta get a Ninja Turtle thing. This was an exclusive, a Comic-Con exclusive. So you know they did that Batman versus Ninja Turtles comic book that then became an animated movie. And so this is based off of that animated movie. It's the Batman versus Ninja Turtles, Mikey as Batman. Who would have ever thought in our lives we would have that, there it is. Oh my gosh, that is pretty. That is pretty, so you got Michelangelo, he's got a little New York pizza manhole cover, some extra hands and another slice of pizza. Oh man, it's it's like an actual cape. Like you know how usually when they make capes, it'll be like a, uh, just like a little plastic thing. This is, this is actual, this is like real, this is real, it's a curtain. I could, I could get a fan in front of him and have this flap around. Mm. I am vengeance, I am the night dude. I am Michael Batman. Okay, I'm having too much fun with that. Super 7 got a couple of shirts. Uh, this seems appropriate to get this now because they just released that special on Netflix. But I got this Rocco's Modern Life shirt. I just kind of like the colors on it. I like that it's the shape of Rocco, but not necessarily his face. It's like a cool design getting that 90s flair. Comic-Con day is a very dangerous day. And of course, I gotta get a Ninja Turtle shirt and this one is sweet. I love this. This is so good. It's literally that color white. It's not like my camera's messing up. Doesn't it look like that would be like a, a like a, like a, a, an album cover? April, like her 80s hits. Going to the sewers, gonna meet my friends, gonna eat some pizza, fun never ends. Hasbro, Hasbro had a special breakfast. So of course, that meant that you go home with a little gift bag. Does this make me relevant now? They gave me this Fortnite thing. Does that give me any views, any extra views if I put Fortnite in there? Okay, great. Now I already have this, but you know, it's worth showing again. That lightning collection, yo. There's Red Alert, Transformer. And I've never seen this before, but it's a Transformers trading card game. Got Lucio, this is perfect since uh, Overwatch is now coming to Switch. Got a Lucio figure. Got, um, um. <laughs> Got a uh, Spider-Man there. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? <laughs> You had an interesting summer, didn't you? How do I say goodbye to the Marvel Cinematic Universe? All I know is that he's been in some of the movies, but now he is back with Sony and might end up in Venom 2. It's so hard to say goodbye <laughs> to Mr. Spider-Man. Got this sweet bag with Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime defending humanity since 1984. I can't open the bag up. And you know it's Hasbro, so you know what that means. They gave me a pony. <laughs> oh yeah, boy. Get that fanny pack going. Power Rangers fanny pack and put all my uh, Dunkaroos in here, or my, uh, Gogurts. <laughs> my Kid Cuisine Chicken Nuggets. Now, let me make it very clear here with these next items I'm going to show. Hasbro did not give me these. I paid for these with my own cash money. Lightning Collection! <laughs> there it is! The Lightning Collection of Jason and Jason. Red Ranger and Gold Ranger. All right, I'm gonna pull this out here. So it comes out a little bottom part here, and then it opens up. Oh wait, it's backwards. Let me open it up the correct way. There we go. Da 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 da. This is like a sexy unboxing. Da 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 da. Ooh yeah. <laughs> so there they are, the Red Ranger and the Gold Ranger. I will eventually open these up, just not right now. Uh, but there, there they are. Red Ranger and Gold Ranger. I'm trying to not to get the glare, but it's, it's hard to do it with all that plastic. But you see them. You see them in there. There it is. There it is. Red Ranger, Gold Ranger. 
looking good. Let me show you the back, too, just in case you want to see what the back of the box looks like. They're also coming out with a two-pack. I ordered it, so it should be coming soon with the Fighting Spirit Green Ranger and a putty. Get back in there. Get back to your home. So the other thing that I bought, an Optimus Prime painted with Ghostbusters stuff. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so cool. We're ready to believe you. And then this is what the back of the box looks like. It looks like a Proton Pack with a Transformers logo. In case you don't know, they're doing a crossover comic series, a six issue series with Ghostbusters and Transformers. IDW's putting that out. There's also an, an Ecto-1 that you can buy that transforms Ectotron. More than meets the eye. When something strange in your neighborhood, who you gonna call? Transformers. Uh, here we go. So there you go. You see Optimus there at the truck. Wow, we got wheels on the trap. And look, look, it even got Slimer coming along. This is really nice, dude. This is gonna look really good on the shelf. Oh my gosh. And here's all the instructions to turn it from a car to Optimus. He might just stay in the truck. I don't know if I'm able to do this. That's that's very complicated. So there's this company called Beast of the Mesozoic. They make really awesome, very detailed dinosaurs. And they gave me this because I said, it reminds me of the Roadrunner. And they were like, yeah, that's actually what it's kind of was based on. Bum, 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 Put on your tail. Do you like the Roadrunner? Meet me. That's really cool, man. They do really good work, man. Hi, everyone. I'm a dinosaur. Whoa! Oh. Comic-Con, DuckTales makes this huge announcement about how they're adding all these characters from the Disney afternoon into DuckTales. And so I, of course, tweeted about it and gave all my excitement about it. So one of the people that works on Disney social media ran into me at Comic-Con and said, thank you so much for your tweet about how much you like about DuckTales. Here, have this. And they gave me the freaking DuckTales poster that they show with all the characters on it. So you can see there's Darkwing Duck, there's Goslin, there's Daisy, there's the three Caballeros, there's uh, uh, the freaking genie from DuckTales the movie, there's the rescue rangers down there, there's Don Carnage, oh my gosh. Uh, we got Molly from and Bubba Duck, oh my gosh. I'm so excited for these new episodes. It's gonna be so cool. I, I kept saying it's the Avengers poster, but when you look at it, don't it kind of look like the Smash Brothers Ultimate? <laughs> Doesn't it kind of look like the Smash Brothers Ultimate poster? Scrooge me duck for Smash! Stay tuned, there's gonna be more Disney stuff. I'm getting in close for this one because it's a ring. <laughs> this is from, oh, it's upside down. <laughs> uh, it's from Han Cholo. Thank you, Pixel Dan, for the shout out. Thank you, Han Cholo, for this ring. So it's Battle Cat, but look, it's like two parts. So like you can have him as like Cringer, and then you put on the helmet and he's Battle Cat. And then you put on the ring and it's like, nice. If I give this to a woman, this ring as a proposal ring, do you think that I got a shot? Like, do you think that that would be the way to propose to somebody is with a Battle Cat ring? You know, you know you picked the perfect woman if you're all like, here's my Battle Cat ring. <laughs> we'll get married. By the marriage of Grayskull, he married. He married. And this is why I will not get married. All right, you want some more Power Rangers stuff? They have a new tabletop game, uh, Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid, and you know that I'm very excited about it because one of the expansion packs is the Shattered Grid expansion pack, which has the. My phone just fell. I got so excited. They have the Shattered Grid expansion pack, which has the Power Rangers Hyperforce in it, including me, Eddie Banks, Blue Ranger. So that's so exciting. So we got it. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's so many expansions. So this is the base game. And what's really cool was that Dan Mora, who does a lot of the artwork for the Power Ranger comics, was there. So he, we got him to sign it. This is a really fun game. I played it a few times with some friends. It's, it's very challenging, but it's very, very fun. This is the one, baby, right there. The Shattered Grid expansion pack. And there I am, right there, on the box. Boom, baby. Blue Hyperforce Ranger. Blue Hyperforce Ranger, right there. Eddie Banks. But there's the box. Inside. There he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, my gosh. Eddie Banks. 
Blue Ranger. So awesome. Love it. <laughs> That's so cool, man. I really, really like that so much. Oh, I got some other expansions as well. There's the Villain Pack expansion. One, there's the Deluxe Megazord figure. Cyclopsis Deluxe figure. Boom, 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 boom. And of course, you need dice. So I got some dice, some Power Rangers official Power Rangers dice. Had to get some comics. So I got some Power Rangers, Power Rangers sets. Lego, I stopped by the Lego booth, worked uh, alongside Katie Wilson and Sci-Fi Wire to show off some of the new Lego exclusives that they had. Thank you so much, Lego. Uh, Lego gave me Lego Batman. Yeah, so it's a cool uh, Lego Batman mural for 80 years of Batman. So that's what it's gonna look like when you piece it all together. We'll see if I can actually piece it together. But that's what it looks like there. I love that it has that where you can put together the light they gave me. Oh, hold on. <laughs> You've had an interesting summer, but this is actually the, uh, I love this one. This is actually the Spider-Man from the PS4 game, which is really awesome. I love that game. If you watch me on Twitch, you know that I played that game in full on Twitch because I loved it so much. I need to go back now and play the DLC of it. I went to a Nintendo event and I got to meet the cool people at Sugarfina. Sugarfina has been making these Nintendo-based yummy, delicious treats. And so they gave me this awesome box which is so cool. Game on, Super Mario Brothers X Sugarfina. Check out that, that's really nice. It says remove label to activate sound. There, oh. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, man. I love that. And then this opens up. And then all the candies inside. And it's good candy, too. I tried some of it earlier. It's good stuff. It's like chocolate treats and gummy treats. Mm. <laughs> and then the question block. What is inside? It's Luigi. It's always the year of Luigi. Tendo, so analog. I bought this. These are really cool. They look like cartridges. They look like old Nintendo cartridges but they'll have like special things on them. So this was one they made exclusively for Comic-Con. It looks like the World Championships uh, <laughs> cartridge. It's not the World Championships cartridge. I wish it was, because then, uh, peace people, I'm gonna be making some money later. Ain't he cute? Aw, ain't he adorable? He's like, yay, what's up everybody? And it comes with accessories. Zappers! And then he can put those in his hands and hold them. <laughs> Put me in Smash! Night Owl Inc. got this t-shirt from them. I thought it was really nice. It's Soundwave as a DJ. <laughs> I was like, that's really awesome. This comic's not out yet, so I don't know if I can show too much of it, but something to look out for. It's called The Black Mage. So basically it's about a school of white mages, which is, you know, that's a, that's a thing. Tom happens to be a black mage <laughs> who gets to go to a school now because they decide that all mages should be at the same school. <laughs> you get where I get where I go here. Then this Project Wildfire. This is done by Taboo and Aaron McGowan. They gave me this book. Here's what's interesting about this book. So they have this character. Who 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 does that remind you of? Who do, who does that who does that remind you of right there? Who does that kind of look like right there? Does that look like somebody you know? Hmm. <laughs> so yeah, they told me that they made this character and they based the design of the character on my face and based it on me. So that's that's technically me. It's not his name is not Andre. He got he has a different name. So I was like, oh that's so cool. Um the character, let's see if I can find his name in here. The character's name is Eugene, which is nice because Eugene was the name of the nerdy black kid in the new Archies. So this lady here that you see, this like beast creature here, was actually a human girl that Eugene had a crush on her in high school and now that she's older and a demon she's deciding to team up with him using his tech knowledge um, because she knows that she can persuade him to do whatever she wants because of the fact that he used to have a crush on her totally not based on me in any kind of way art imitates life okay let's move on even when I leave comic-con I want to buy more things. So I went to a, a shop after Comic-Con called the Perky Nerd 
and they got some comics. Miles Morales. Uh, it's just basically all the first issues of Miles Morales all together in one book. So I thought that was really cool. They have been doing these very interesting Hanna-Barbera comic books over at DC. So I bought some volumes of that. Uh, I got the Flintstones, and then if you're gonna get the Flintstones, I was gonna get the Jetsons. And then this Snagglepuss one I heard is very interesting. It's like a different take on Snagglepuss. It's very intriguing that they're doing this. I know there's also a Scooby one, Scooby Apocalypse, and there's like a Johnny Quest one. And then I found this, DuckTales Classics, old school DuckTales comics that they made when the original series came out. If you remember from my video a while back, where I went to the box lunch store and I found this guy, I found Dale from Chippendale's Rescue Rangers as a plush but I couldn't find Chip. Well, I went to the Perky Nerd and I found Chip. So they're together again. Chip, 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 Chip and Dale. Rescue range, Chip, 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 Chip and Dale. They'll take the clues and find the where's been wise and who's. And speaking of Rescue Rangers, going back to Comic-Con now. Beast Kingdom makes these really cool statues of various characters, usually comic book characters, like Marvel characters. They do Disney stuff as well. And so, you know, I was checking them out. I was like, okay, they got like some Toy Story stuff over there. They got some X-Men. But then I found this there and I had to buy it. When they said they had a Chippendale statue, I thought it was going to be like basic Chippendale. But no, it is a Chippendale Rescue Rangers statue. There is not a lot of Rescue Rangers merchandise. So it made me so happy, so happy that this existed. Look at this. Look at them. Is that not worth it? Chips are like, shut up, Dale. <laughs> Don't tell him how much this costs. <laughs> it is sweet though, man. That is, come on, that is nice. Oh my gosh. And then it comes with this crate and that's what you put them on. Get a little hole there, you put them in the hole and then there it is. And it even got, it's even got a little, little, little plaque there to let you know it's Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. All right, come on, man, like that. That was worth it, right? That is beautiful. That is so beautiful. I love they're on a crate too, because if you play the Chippendale Rescue Rangers video game on the NES, that's what they pick up and throw on the crate. So it's kind of cool they put them on a crate there. So it's very, it's, you know, it's got some references to it. So you're probably wondering how much a Chippendale figure from Beast Kingdom like this cost me, how much it set me back. Um, It was, $185, but look at it, look at it though, it's Chip and Dale, and this, they're the Rescue Rangers, and Chip is dressed like Indiana Jones, and Dale is dressed like Man and P.I., and they're sitting on top of a crate, just like from the NES game, and it actually has a number on it, it's number 63 of uh, some number of figures, I don't know how many got made, but I'm number 63. Beast Kingdom, look what I bought from you, isn't that cool? Do you have any other Disney afternoon ones? Cause I'll totally get them. <laughs> if you got DuckTales or Darkwing like this, give me a call. But we're not done. <laughs> there is more. You know I love the Ninja Turtles, right? And you can actually see a video of me picking this up in Pixel Dan's Comic-Con recap. So I'll, I'll put a link to it. Documented footage <laughs> of me buying this. Uh, but um, I got a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> so I got this Ninja Turtle here, Giant Leonardo from the 2003 Ninja Turtles series. So that was really cool, uh, very nice. The guy even added a little Pez dispenser in there with it. It's Ninja Turtles, got the back on there. I'm probably gonna take them out of the box, honestly, because, you know, I wanna put them with the other turtles. So, you know, I just thought to show you that I got that. Oh, um. I also got Michelangelo. Uh, Michelangelo was there as well. So I got a, a Michelangelo one. Uh, there we go. So there's the back of the box and everything. So 2003 Michelangelo from the 2003 Ninja Turtles series. So that was really cool. Oh, um, also uh, Donatello. Uh, they got Donatello as well. Um, Donatello from 2003 <laughs> Ninja Turtles series. There's the back of the box there. Uh, so there we go. Got the Donatello one as well. So there we go. So really cool to find all those. Find those. Find those three, find those three turtles. Oh, wait a minute, um, also uh, Raphael. <laughs> Raphael as well. <laughs> All four of them, baby, that's why I had to get them. Like if they just had one or two of them, I would've been like, nah, I'm good. But they had all four 2003 turtles. I don't have any 2003 turtle figures. So of course, when I saw all four of these, I had to buy them. There's no way 
I could pass up on this. Leonardo's always in control. The wise guy is uh, Michelangelo. Three, Donatello, he's the brains of the bunch. Four, Count Raphael, throw the first punch. Um, I believe these cost me, if I remember correctly, $150, I'm sorry. But what it was, they were 50 bucks a piece, but he said if I bought all four, he would give me one of them for free. So it was 150 for the whole set. I think that was a good deal. Cause I love being a, I love being a, I love being a turtle. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, turtles. There's no one better. Watch out for Shredder. They're like no others. <laughs> They're Teenage Brothers. <laughs> and last but not least, <laughs> at the same place where they had those turtles, they had this. And this is weird. This is the only one they had and it was exactly my size. So it was like, I was meant to get this. Pat noticed it, pointed it out, Pixel Dan was like, oh dude, that's awesome. So I put it on and it felt so good and it looked so good, I couldn't resist. So this is apparently a racing jacket. It says Autobot Racing and then that's the back of it. So I bought this. But yeah, man, it's a Transformers jacket. <laughs> There's the side of it. It's so sweet. Now I'm totally Hasbro out. I'm wearing a Power Rangers shirt uh, and a Transformers jacket. <laughs> Don't that look good on me though? Come on, look at that. Look at that. Oh man, hello. Uh, this jacket set me back. One hundred and twenty dollars. I'm sorry, man. I had to get it. It's got the Autobots on the back. Autobot racing. That was worth the hundred and twenty dollars. I don't know when I'm ever gonna wear this jacket because it's hot as hell in California. But goodness gracious, come on! Look at me in this. I look cool. I never look cool because nothing says cool like a man wearing a Transformers racing jacket. So that is my. Uh, Comic-Con haul, what was your favorite thing that you saw in the haul? What was the coolest thing I got? Did I spend too much? Probably so, but hey, it's Comic-Con, baby. Thanks for watching this video. If you like what you saw, subscribe. I love you like a play cousin. I'm out at 5,000, and I'm really trying to figure out when I'm gonna wear this jacket.